Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has just rolled out Chrome version 140, which is now the latest release. And just as I thought and have mentioned previously on the channel, 140 has removed the previous workaround to enable MV2 extensions like the popular ad blocker uBlock Origin. So just a quick update video to let you know that although that is the case, that you can still bypass the restriction by making a couple of tweaks and adjustments in the experimental flags to re-enable MV2 extensions like uBlock Origin if you would be interested. Now I've since deleted and removed uBlock Origin earlier today so I can walk through the process of how to re-enable and download uBlock Origin in Google Chrome. And it's very similar to how I've posted previously but this is helping a lot of folks out and has gained a bit of interest. So just a quick tutorial and guide to show you how you can get everything back and working again. Now, after upgrading to 140, you will notice that if you had uBlock Origin installed, the toggle will be grayed out. You can't turn it on and off. It'll be grayed out and you will also get a message telling you that it has to be removed on your Manage Extensions page. So to get uBlock Origin back and working again, what you'd need to do is head over to GitHub where Gorehill maintains and develops uBlock Origin. And I'll leave this linked in the description for easy access and reference. And you would head down to the stable version, which is on still on 1.65. And you would download for Chromium Zip. You would download the 1.65 Chromium Zip. I've already done that. And then once it's downloaded, you would head to your download location. And here is uBlock Origin and all the relevant files pertaining to working in Google Chrome. Now, just on a side note, once you have downloaded uBlock, you can't remove this folder. Even after you have enabled uBlock Origin in Google Chrome, because if you remove this, it won't work because everything's pointing to this so-called mother folder so just take note of that now as always we head back to our browser let's head into our experimental flags page by entering chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags hit enter and now the first thing you will see is previously we had to enable temporarily unexpire M138 flags when we were on version 139. Now we've been bumped up to 140, so now you have to enable temporarily unexpire M139 flags. So we would change that from default to enabled. And I would suggest relaunching your browser straight after you've done that. And then the next thing in the search is we just enter MV2. Allow legacy extension manifest versions. Once again, change it from default to enabled. Relaunch the browser to apply that flag. Now, those are the two flags that need to be enabled. Temporarily unexpire 139 flags. Allow legacy extension manifest versions. So those are the two that have to be enabled. And then what we do now is we head back into our extensions page. And you have to now turn on developer mode. And then you need to click on load unpacked. Now just take note, you mustn't select the default folder, uBlock 1.65 Chromium. You need to double click that. You need to select the secondary folder, uBlock 0 Chromium. That's the one you need to click on. Select the folder and there we go. That's imported everything back into the browser and there you can see uBlock Origin is back and working. And if you want to remove those errors, you just click on that, clear all. You might have to do that a couple of times after relaunching the browser. Those errors can come back, but the extension works perfectly. And there we go. You can turn that on and off. And if we head into our extensions, there we go. There's uBlock Origin up and running. So simple and easy. That's how you can bypass that restriction in version 140. Now, something else to take note of. I only uninstalled uBlock Origin to show you and demonstrate for this video. But if you had already installed uBlock Origin, and had updated to 140 from 139. You don't have to go and download 
uBlock Origin again from GitHub and go through the whole process. All you have to do is you just enable these two flags. That's all you have to do. You don't have to re-download it. Just enable these two flags. And then what you would do is you would just turn on developer mode and you'll see it just enable uBlock Origin once again. So you skip the part of actually having to download the actual folder of uBlock if you had already had it installed. So that's just a quick and easy way how you can get uBlock Origin up and running and even some other MV2 extensions in the latest release of Google Chrome 140. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.